So at ELCC, we also had uh, data on the uh, Crystal One uh, trial. This is uh, the Mirati MRTX849 uh, uh, drug, otherwise known as Adagrasib. And this is a very exciting uh, drug. This was a uh, pooled analysis of patients uh, at the uh, recommended phase two dose from the uh, phase one uh, dose escalation, as well as the cohort expansion. And there were 79 patients that were reported by my uh, uh, colleague, Dr. Riley. Um, what the trial demonstrated is that in this uh, group of KRAS uh, G12C uh, mutant patients, uh, adagrasib definitely has efficacy. So adagrasib is irreversible covalent uh, inhibitor of uh, KRAS in the inactive uh, GDP state. And the overall response rate that was reported is 43% with a good duration of response, 8.2 months. We haven't seen progression-free uh, survival. But what was really quite interesting is some of the correlative analyses. Uh, when we look at patients with SDK11 uh, mutations, and this is a group which tend to do poorer, we had around a 60% uh, response rate uh, in this group. And also, when we look at biopsies and patients post-treatment with adagrasib compared to pre-treatment, we could see that adagrasib resulted in an increased number of T-cells, both CD4 and CD8 uh, uh, T-cells, demonstrating that it's making the microenvironment much more pro-inflammatory or immunogenic. Um, uh, so, very very interesting data there. How does that fit in? Well, we obviously had data from Codebreak 200 at uh, uh, the Singapore virtual meeting, the World Lung uh, uh, meeting, where my colleague Bob Lee uh, updated us with the phase two trial, which showed a very similar 37% response rate with a uh, numerically uh, longer, but I would suggest similar duration of response, 10.0 months. We had 6.8 months progression-free survival. Um, and a numerically lower 40% response rate in SDK11 patients. But, you know, these numbers are all very small. So, you know, I don't think we should get, you know, too set up on these absolute loot numbers. I think the take-home messages are that we have two very active drugs uh, against uh, relapsed non-small cell lung cancer tumors with KRAS G12C. And this is a really exciting uh, development. And I very much look forward to these drugs being uh, tested further and getting more mature uh, data and in due course randomized data.